guys, welcome back to my channel. I had the opportunity of being tagged to do a challenge video, which I duly accepted. And I'm kind of excited to do this because I haven't done a video like this before. And I wanted to do my first video of 2016 uh, with, I guess, a challenge sort of makeup slash what I like and don't like type thing. And it was tagged to me by those girls, no, those sisters that sample. And it is two girls that are super adorable and they have great videos, I watch them all the time, and they do a lot of unboxings and subscription services. So I'll link their channel down below if you want to check them out. They do wonderful reviews on different kind of makeup products as well. So that's kind of how I found them because I like to watch unboxings and I saw... <clears throat> that they did an unboxing video as well on Ipsy and Birchbox and stuff like that. So I thought I would accept the challenge and the people that I would normally tag in a video like this were already technically tagged in their videos so I don't want to like double tag someone. So I will refer to their video where they came out with this Ipsy tag on favorites and stuff like that and the people in those that were suggested to be tagged do it because I would have tagged you anyway so and I would have said one more which is Miss Tigger loves boxes you better do this as well because I watch all of your Ipsy unboxings as well and you should do this for sure for sure yeah everyone needs to see that beautiful face of yours girl so moving on so the point of the challenge is it's kind of like a year in review for Ipsy bags and products and stuff along the lines of that so the request for the challenge is that you have to do uh, five of your favorite items from the whole year, uh, three items that you did not like, and then your favorite back. So I will start with the smallest and go to the largest, you know, items, whatever. My favorite bag style for the whole year, I would show all my bags, but I've given some of them away so it's just a waste because I just, I give away the bags that I technically don't like that much and I know other people would love them and a lot of the bags that I gave away were like four giveaways that I had and I heard a lot of people love those bags they just weren't my taste. My favorite bag for the year of 2015 for Ipsy was the Galactic Galaxy bag. This I love this design. I love the colors excluding pink. I wish it was more like blues and stuff but I love the Galaxy design. I know it's a big trend right now but I've always loved this kind of design. For some reason it reminds me of Lisa Frank. If you know who that is and what she did back in the 90s, comment down below if you used to do the same thing as I did with Lisa Frank products. Yeah, this is what this reminds me of. I absolutely love it. And it's a good size and I like how it's not like stiff and stuff. It fits in my purse perfectly. So right now I have my regular purse makeup that I carry in here so I'm not going to open it because that's silly. The next section of this video were items that you least liked from the year 2015, I guess. There are quite a few, actually, but the three worst, I guess, that I've received in my bags, I will go over. The first one was from December, this past December's bag, and it was the um, Clark's Botanicals Deep Moisture Mask. Uh, if you did receive this, the I mean, it's, it's self-explanatory. It smells wonderful. I don't... I don't hate the smell, it's lovely. And it's, it can be used as a mask, a deep moisturizing mask, or a daily moisturizer, if used sparingly. Well, the first time I got it, I really wanted to try it as a mask. I don't do masks that often, so when I get masks usually from Ipsy, I love to try them out. Like that honey one we got over the summer, I tried it out, I hated it. It hurt, it, nah, no. Uh, I wanted to try this as a mask. So I put it on, and I left it on for like 20 to 30 minutes, like it says, and then I rinsed it off. Well, I had an allergic reaction to it. And a few days later, after I used it, it broke me out so bad. So bad, uncomfortable, embarrassing. I pretty much wore like a scarf every single day that I've had it at its worst. It's almost gone, it's just basically, I'm an ex, so I'm not really like, well, let's just do this and I have on makeup, so I don't really care right now. But that was my first item that I hated. The second item that I hated was from the month 
of January. And that's for the other two items because you're only doing three. The first item from that month of January of 2015 was this Hikari eyeliner in the color of, I have no idea. It doesn't say, it just says Hikari. But it goes like that. And I will show you what I mean when I say I hate this. I'm rubbing it really hard. If I rub any harder, I'm gonna break it in half. This is the driest shit I've ever tested out on myself, on my hand, whatever. It doesn't smudge out, it doesn't blend, it doesn't do anything. It's just stiff and hard and useless to have around, but I don't like throwing away my Ipsy products because they're, I just, I don't know. It sucked, it was a piece of shit. I don't like dark gray eyeliners. I think it's silly when you can just use an eyeshadow. So that's number two. Number three is also, unfortunately, from the January bag of 2015. And it's the Mana Kadar Sheer Glow Shimmer Lotion, Beauty Simplified Sheer Glow Shimmer Lotion. I, I think it's supposed to be like a, a liquefied blush or something that you can mix with a tinted moisturizer or mix with your moisturizer. It's just awful. It's very watery. It doesn't blend out when it's dry. It's it gets really tacky on me when I try to use it. I even tried to mix it with a daily moisturizer and it made my entire face pink because it's kind of pigmented. It has like a shimmery thing to it and I just, it's not what I like. See if, if you can see that really well. I doubt that you can, but if you can't, uh, whatever. But yeah, that, in that or now that it's old because it's technically considered like a year old, I guess. But it's something I maybe use twice ever because I, I wanted to give it the benefit of the doubt and I tried and I couldn't and I just gave up and I moved on. Okay, let's see. Okay, the five items that I love so far for the year of 2015 from all of my Ipsy bags. Um, let's see, two of them were from April. And I use this daily. If As soon as I run out, I want there. to purchase a new one so bad. And it was from April's bag, and it was the Micah Beauty Cosmetics Eyeshadow Primer. And I love eyeshadow primers that come in a pot like this. Kind of like everyone loves the MAC Painterly Pot or the Soft Ochre Pot, the eyeshadow primers that they use, and they're very popular right now. I love this. It's like... Uh, it's tacky and it's it dries really quickly and it's really easy to put on. I use my finger to put it over my eyelids and it cancels out all of um, if you have very veiny eyelids this covers it up so well because it's a neutral base and it kind of just makes your eyelids perfect for when you apply eyeshadow to them and I really do that a lot and I'm barely getting to the base. I try to use it sparingly. I mix it between, I'll either use this some mornings or my Urban Decay Primer Potion or my uh, Shadow Insurance by Too Faced. I just mix all three of them up because I want them all to last forever because they're like the best eyeshadow primers I think I've ever used. Um, yeah, so that's that first of the five. The next item is also from the April bag that we got this year and it is the Bomb a uh, nude dude eyeshadow in the color flirty. I absolutely love this shade. It is a purpley gold toned shade and you can use it wet or dry. Let's see. It's hard to show up. It works so much better with a brush. I'm gonna put it right next to that really crappy blush stuff. So if you can see it, it's that goldy, purpley tone if you can see it well enough. So I'm sorry if you can't see it very well. But I love it. The packaging is so adorable for it. So that is that item. Those are the both that I got from April that I really, really loved. The next item that was another favorite was from my February bag. And two items from my February bag of 2015. The first item I use on the reg and it is a Luxie Brush 504 Large Angle Brush. I use it for contouring, I use it for blush, I use it for highlighter, I use it for all over. I love this thing. It applies perfectly if you're trying to do contouring 
and if you're new to contouring, it's really easy and kind of foolproof because you can get right in the cheek area and apply it without being too harsh and it blends out when you go to sweep up with the bronzer. I also do it to, around my forehead to warm up my whole face along the perimeter and so on and so forth. You get the idea, that's contouring. The next item that was another favorite was from the February bag and I've been trying to stretch this one out for as long as I can and it is the Rob Sheffy for Teeny Beauty Eyeshadow in the color Peach Fizz. This, I don't use it as a high, uh, eye, uh, blah, blah, blah. I don't use it as an eyeshadow, I use it as a highlighter. This color has been awesome. It, if you have a cream highlighter that you use on a regular instead of a powder, and you like to set it with a powder after you've applied your cream highlighter right at the apples of your cheeks and along the cheekbone itself. If you put this over it, my god, your highlighter will look amazing. You can use it as an eyeshadow, feel free, because that's technically what it is, but there's no right or wrong thing to do when it comes to makeup. This is what I use it for, and I've already hit pan with it, and I've been trying to get it to last as long as I want. And what I normally do is I'll apply um, my ColourPop highlighter as a base, and then I'll lightly dust this on top. I love the way it looks. Basically, my highlighter's on flip. That's what I'm gonna say. That's what I'm gonna tell you. So yeah, those are the two items from February. My last of my five favorites for the year 2015 from Ipsy is from the July bag. And if you got this in your July bag and you can't afford the full size, 20 bucks says you still have yours because I still have mine and I use it very sparingly as well because I love it and it's normally I think like $35 for a full size. But it is the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzer. This stuff is amazeballs. I don't just use it for bronzer either. Um, you can just begin to see the pan on this one but it's not quite showing yet. So I've been going between this and a cheaper and expensive bronzer. <sighs> Sorry. And I love it because it's gold tone. It really warms up the face. It lasts all day. And I also use it as a transition color on my eyeshadow when I'm going in to do my eyeshadow look for the day. If I'm doing warm tones or browns or something, this is excellent transition color. It goes on really smoothly and it doesn't crease, especially if you have a primer, it shouldn't crease anyway. But I just, I find this color amazing. I love it so much. And if you got this, I know you'll be, you, you've either already hit pan or you're, you're just staring at it because it's so pretty and it's just so expensive because you can't afford it. Because <laughs> I know I, I can't. So, yeah. Those are everything in this challenge, I suppose. So, yeah. Uh, I don't know what else I can explain. But, yeah. Refer back to those sisters, that sample, for the rest of the tags because I don't really have anyone else I can tag that does a lot of Ipsy unboxings. I mean, I could, but I doubt that they'd see it, so I'll try. Yeah. All right. Well, I hope you guys liked the video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, don't forget to put them down in the comment section down below, and I'll have all my contact information in the description bar as well. Uh, I hope you guys had a wonderful New Year's Eve, and I hope you're all safe and had a good time. And yeah, that's about it. So I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys all in my next video. I hope you like my shirt. Star Wars. I saw it. Great. Cried. Just a little. Okay. Love you all so much.